Hey, welcome to a new video. It's been four weeks. I have not published all the updates what's going on in my projects. And this video is going to be an overview of what I'm doing with all my AI apps, which I'm building where I am at. I took a four weeks of vacation. What happened in that? Did I did build anything? What does the next few weeks looks like? And uh, yeah, just an overview because this year I thought I will always be very transparent with my uh, like a YouTube community on what is happening on my projects. So starting with the number one thing, uh, the post handle post handle i left it at a point in july in june ending june like where i was trying to market it only on my socials on my x and i was trying to get some feedbacks from initial users there were almost uh, 56 users who signed up on the project and uh, sadly there was like zero people who actually converted to paying user and after talking to a lot of uh, like initial users i found out the value which they were expecting from the product is not there yet and initial onboarding was an issue. I thought, should I improve it? Uh, what to do? And then I thought it's better. I should take a small break, which I did. I went to lay and spend like uh, 28 days. <laughs> Funny thing is before leaving, uh, I talked to uh, like there is an AI agent on my computer who I usually talk to about my projects, how to market it and what's the progress looks like. So I gave it all the data I gathered from post handles, like two, three weeks of uh, it was launched and initial onboarding, how users are responding, what they are doing. And then I asked uh, the AI, like, hey, what do you think about it? Be very brutal and honest. Uh, what do you think? What's the future of this project looks like? Should I continue? And the AI told me, uh, Divya, look, this is a dead project. <laughs> I was like, bro, don't be so brutal about it. I mean, yeah, initially this version does not meet uh, the same value which I want to promote. My main goal from with post handle was to make it like a like a cursor for video editing, but I'm nowhere close to where I want to make this project reach uh, this project with. And you know, uh, then there is this timeline where I have to make it monetizable. It should start making a little bit of money so that I have a little bit of uh, confidence that yes, if I go long term, uh, the revenue will keep on Im improving, which was uh, not happening in the whole month of June. And should I give it more time? I still don't know. I'm very confused. And uh, so for now, I have paused working on post handle i'm still talking to the users who are still using it there are i think two or three users who actively uh, render videos from that portal but from my marketing side i have paused all the work on that i might continue uh, next month but for now it's not in the timeline and you also know like I, I was working on this another project which is magnet app which was kind of like api management with ai and that team also pivoted into something different and which is much more exciting uh, i'm making a dedicated video on that tool this week uh, where i will review the whole thing it's kind of like a ui for cloud code and an issue tracker which makes it much much better to use cloud code there are a lot of things uh, like for, for videos there's a lot of videos which are lined up how i'm using now kimi k2 i'm using quen 3 coder i'm also using a mix of cloud code then there is a lot of cursor the pricing of cursor which is a huge thing for me now because i'm paying a lot compared to what i was paying earlier earlier it was like 20 dollars i was paying for the monthly fee of cursor plus i was paying around 40 dollars for uh, the the pro models which i wanted to use but now at this point cursor has removed their like 500 quota or something it's very dynamic and it's api is usage based so this last month i paid i think 70 dollars even when i was traveling so which was again too much now i'm dedicatedly working on my projects i do not want to pay like 100 200 dollars right now i'm using a mix of kimi k2 quen3 coder and cloud so this is what my work uh, kind of going on coming back to the magnet app which is a like i'm working with a team it's a contract based work which i do i'm very very excited with this product because this product which I'm building it technically helps me as a developer to be more productive with these AI coding tools and yeah more dedicated video coming soon on that I built like three four core features on that product and I started working on it while I was in lay like in the last weeks and uh, I am continuing working on that so this month in August I am planning to just continue on magnet app to make it more stable to make more like to talk about it because that's like kind of my product i'm working on it we are only three people on the team who are working on it and uh, it's super exciting product third thing uh, my ios ai apps portfolio there's some exciting things happening there so one of the thing is auto ai reels like it's gaining like again subscribers almost daily it's uh, it's at a stable point where i'm not marketing it aso is doing its job i need to upgrade my aso game a little bit i was doing a lot of keyword research so that is going on and on the other part like making more apps which I have like selected, I think five new keywords, uh, which I'll be making apps on. I did a lot of ASO research. So while I was traveling, I was spending at least one or two hours almost every day where I was doing ASO research and working on the backend for my apps. 
you remember i already had an app which is called aisidekick.com but the way i built it long before these agents were a thing uh, that didn't work out because it was too complex for me so i ditched that product but now i am trying to revive that again uh, what my plan is because i am making more of these of ai apps and ai rapper apps i wanted a dedicated backend which can have you know credit system which can have routing to different models which is super easy to plug and play any model ai model which i want to use uh, i do not want to hard code a single server for single app because that takes a lot of time so what i did was i created a whole dedicated backend server a full infrastructure with proper like you know uh, observability in it and the way it handles these ai model changes prompting and everything is using an yaml structure like how you use a github workflow i'm using something similar i'll be showing you in a dedicated video how that backend works currently i'm only using it for my own apps but my plan is you know, once i see a stable growth on that on my own apps like if i see okay my server is able to handle scale i have fixed almost all the edge cases then the plan is to like you know uh, release it for people who wants to build their own ai rappers easily using a dedicated backend which handles all the users credit payment and everything so you do not have to invest time on building or managing your own infrastructure it's kind of like vercel for ai backend uh, that's my plan is and it becomes super easy to use any llm model which you want to use any image model any video model you can swap them directly on the backend without even letting user know users will only be worried about what your app does so for example if your app is like a plant ad identifier app you can make a rock identifier you can make a plant identifier you can make any app you can manage their credits you can change the prompt and you can see what users are receiving without even writing a single line of code that's what my plan for ai sidekick is so yeah here we are and this was a very quick update i wanted to give in this video i'm back now i'll be making more such videos there are a lot of like you know personal things going on uh, which i will be making again maybe talking about in in future videos for now i'll be making more videos more videos coming soon about how i'm using kimi k2 i'm how i'm using qn3 what are my you know uh, experiences using them which one i do prefer and then there is uh, this horizon new model which dropped on open router which is people are saying it's gpt5 they are just testing it i was just testing it right now with goose goose is again a cli so yeah there is a lot of tech things happening and uh, i'm super excited to make videos on so there will be more videos like I'm almost every other day there will be a video i'll be dropping thank you so much for watching this video and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one bye bye